code in many different languages. But ironically, we all code in the same language, English. The function names and the language keywords are all in English. But not everyone knows English. In fact, most of the world doesn't. Do we have to exclude them from programming? This is Lambda. Lambda is a programming language where the code is stored as a data structure. One of the benefits that this approach enables is that code isn't in any specific natural language. The user can choose to view the code in any natural language that they like. It's just a display preference. This is how it works. Even though Lambda has a text-like user interface, the code is stored as a data structure. When referring to the function sum, the textual language would actually store the text sum in the code. In Lambda, it's referred internally by a unique identifier. The identifier corresponds to the function definition, which also doesn't store the name sum, but instead points to a name object. The name object stores the name in several languages. Let's see how it looks like in Lambda. If we press enter on the use of sum, it opens up the sum function. The enter key on its name and its definition opens the name object. Lambda currently supports English, Italian, and Hebrew. Let's give this function a new name, total. Note that when we change the name of the function, it also appears in the call site. Unlike textual programming languages, in Lambda renaming the function is a single change in the data structure. I'd like to give a mention to some related works. There are actually quite a few non-English programming languages, each still targeting a specific natural language. And there are also block languages like MIT's Scratch, which have supported localization for a while. But these do not support user-defined function names. The only project we are aware of that looks similar to Lambda was Intentional Softwares. This is their demo from more than 20 years ago. Or if the project is international, we could have a translated name in the national alphabet displayed in Unicode. But from what we've heard, that project has been discontinued and was never publicly released. Lambda, on the other hand, is an open source project and everything we've demonstrated in this video is already available but it's not ready for production just yet. Creating a non-textual programming language in the whole development environment is no small feat. Since starting almost 10 years ago, we've implemented the significant part of it, but there's still more work ahead before it can be useful for production. Localization is just a small part of Lambda. We've previously made presentations about steady typing and its live programming aspects, which you can watch if you want to learn more. Our goal is to make a useful programming language that is delightful to use. Lambda is currently coded in Haskell and the long-term plan is to make it self-hosted. If you share our vision for programming, we would really love your help and welcome contributions of all kinds. To see Lambda localized to your language, it's pretty easy to add a new language. We would really appreciate this contribution too. We'd like to thank Giovanni Giuliani for contributing the Italian translation. Thanks, Giovanni. Thanks for watching.